Deep in the bowels of an old power plant, a sinister plot is hatching. Ha ha! At last the time has come to hatch my sinister plot! This lever will activate my blackout generator and the world will be thrown into eternal night! Not so fast, doctors! What? <gasps> Pajama Man! That's right, Fiend! And I have some gadgets of my own! Take that! Ah! Not the Illuminator Mark V! Do you have anything to say before you're sucked into my portable bad guy containment unit? I wish you'd pick up your socks once in a while. Sure thing, Mom. You can consider that done. Okay, Sam. You remember tonight's the night we go to sleep with the lights off? Don't worry about me, Mom. I'm ready. And I can put on my pajama Sam mask if I get scared. That's good, dear. Good night, Sam. Good night, Mom. There's no need to hide when it's dark outside. No need to hide when it's dark outside. I'm not scared. Darkness lives in my closet, but that's okay. I'm not scared. Okay, I'm scared. I can't sleep with darkness hanging around in my closet. I'm gonna have to capture him. This is a job for... Pajama Sam! Now, where's my Pajama Sam mask? I need that and my flashlight and my lunchbox. I'm sure that my stuff's in here somewhere. Hey, one of my socks! Mom said I should pick these up. This is where I'll keep all the socks I find in the land of darkness. That's Pajama Man. He's my hero. <laughs> Introducing Randall. Nothing there. Oh, here's my pajama Sam mask. Gotta protect my secret identity. Now I just need my lunchbox and my flashlight. Nothing but trash in there. Nothing but clothes in here. Here's my flashlight underneath all my socks. The Illuminator Mark V Jr. It takes 2D batteries, you know. Now I just have to find my lunchbox. My signature edition all-metal pajama man lunchbox. I mean, my portable bad guy containment unit. I can keep darkness in this after I capture him. Okay, I'm ready to go into my closet and capture darkness. Right, I'm ready for action. All right, darkness, here comes Pajama Sam. Hello? Is anybody in here? Darkness? Hello? lives all right. I better go find him before mom notices I'm gone. Well, there's no turning back now. Boy, I had no idea my closet was this 
big on the inside. Another sock. I better pick it up like Mom said. I should match up these socks. Looks like I need to find a total of 10 pairs of socks. like. Uh, thanks. I feel bad about you losing your things. Yeah, how am I supposed to capture darkness without all my stuff? Well, I'm sure your things are here in the land of darkness somewhere. If you look around, you might be able to find them again. I hope so. I'll bring you back your rope later, okay? Good luck. Tree's not too mad that I lost a rope. At least I got this great piece of wood. Miss Tree, um, I'm sorry, but I uh, I lost the rope you let me borrow. Rope? Oh, that's all right. I can probably get a new one. You're not mad? Yeah, actually, it's kind of a relief not to have to hold that rope up all day long. looking place up there must be Darkness's house. I'll bet that's where I'll find him. It says Boat Dock. Another sock. Hey, I got another sock. Hi. Hello. My name's Sam. I'm going to capture darkness and put him in a metal lunchbox. After I find my lunchbox, I mean. Oh, pleased to meet you, Sam. You can call me Otto. Would you give me a ride across the river? Oh, no. I can't go in the water, I think. I'm made of wood, you know. But wood floats. No, I don't think so. I had this friend and he told me this story about his dentist brother who, um, he was made of wood and he got in the water and he sank. Really? Straight to the bottom. It's so scary. I wish I'd been a car. 
I think your friend was wrong. Wood floats in the water. Oh, I wish that were true. Okay, check this out. It's wood, right? Yes. All right, now watch. See? It floats. Wood floats. Yeah? So you'll float too. Come on, give it a try. I guess. Well, so far, so good. Well, here goes nothing. I'm doing it! I'm floating! Yahoo! Oh boy, this is great! Can I give you a ride somewhere? Come on, hop in! Let's go sailing! Well, technically we can't do that since I'm not a sailboat because I don't have a sail. I know what you mean, but technically you should say, let's go floating or something like that. Sure, sure, whatever you say. Let's go sailing! Okay. There's a frog in it or something. Rats, there's nothing in here at all. Uh-oh, I think I'm stuck. Yes, I'm definitely stuck. I wonder how Pajama Man would handle this. Phew. Bye, Otto. I'll be back soon. Okay, I'll wait here. Looks like one of Dad's socks. I wonder how it got here. Just where do you think you're going? Um, nowhere really. I just wanted to pass by. Just barging through like that? Without even asking permission? Have you no manners? It is customary. Oh no, this isn't another customs inspection, is it? Are you gonna take all my stuff? I assure you, we have no interest in your stuff. Phew, that's a relief. I'm sorry if I offended you. May I pass through? No. No? This is an exclusive road. It's for trees only. Yes, trees only. Now, be off with you. Coming through. Good day to you, fellow tree. Is that my pajama Sam mask? 
This mask belongs to the people. It sure looks like my mask. Property is theft, man. Anyway, I need the mask to protect my identity as the leader of the Salad Liberation Front. The what? The Salad Liberation Front. We're a group of veggies fighting against the core system. We're tired of being relegated to the salad. We want to be the main course. Whatever. I just want my mask back. I'll tell you what. The other carrots are being held prisoner in the refrigerator in Darkness' kitchen. If you help me free the carrots, I'll give you back the mask. Okay, it's a deal. Great. I'll come with you to the kitchen so I can direct the operation. Okay, sure. Hey, pennies! I wish... I wish the grass were greener here. Why are you wishing? I threw the penny in. Who's the wishing well here, you or me? Oh. My name's Sam. You can call me Exo Gomper. Where'd you get a name like that? I didn't say it was my name. I just said you could call me that, if you want to. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> I guess I better put my ingenious disguise back on. Whoa! Good fortune to you. Thank you, fellow tree. I don't feel so good. Hi, I'm Sam. I'd like to cross the bridge to see what's on the other side. Don't try to butter me up. If you want to go across, you'll have to pay a toll. How much is the toll? One pound of gold. It's an oil can. And there's some oil in it. These hinges look kind of rusty. I better oil them. I can't open this door. There's no knob on it. Hey, that's my flashlight. My flashlight's in there. traditional metal pajama man lunchbox. Were we looking for that? Yeah! I needed to put darkness in when I captured it. It's my portable bad guy containment unit. Just like pajama man. Oh, I see. Rat, I can't reach it. Oh, <laughs> 
about my brain away, okay? That looks like one of my big brother Mark's socks. Smells like one too. What did you say? Capture darkness and put him in a lunchbox. That's great. My name's Mud. Really? No, not really. Then why did you say it is? <sighs> Look, I, I'm sorry, kid. I'm just real depressed is all. See, I, I used to roll all over the place on this here track. Up, down, sideways, loop the loop, on, a, on I had. But then I got rushed. Rushed? Yeah. Rust! See, my wheels are rusted stiff, so I'm stuck right here on this spot. Can't move at all. Gee, that's too bad. Yeah, especially in summer when the pigeons come down here for some shade. Rusted to the track. Here, I think maybe this might help your wheels. Say, that's good. Now do the back, huh? Ooh, ooh, yeah! Yahoo! tracks again thanks to you kid hey what'd you say your name was sam well listen sam the king owes you big time anytime you need a ride through the mines a king will take you <laughs> Well, that's a water meter. It says 662. Well, I'm not a mistake. With it, yeah? By the way, what is it? It's a pickaxe for mine and gold. Oh yeah. It's 
says gold. There must be gold through there. I warned you to be careful. Yeah, but look at all this gold I got. Since you're fabulously rich, uh, how about sharing the wealth a little? Say, let me have the small piece, huh? Deal. It says Dark's house. <gasps> yep, this is Darkness's house, all right. There's no mail. Beat it. Must be the way up into Darkness's house. things. I bet I could fit in there. That's a no-no. We avow it. No, we simply can't allow it. on my mind. Drink so much! 
Lockheed Borscht. I can't let you in, but you might liberate the carrots that I'm holding for the huge green salad. Won't you open the door since I have another victim? What? I surrender, not ever await. Now I see. You now have captured that troublesome carrot eater guy. I'll open up my door so you can put that rogue inside my drawer. Oh no, our orange leader was caught. Our fight for our freedom for love. We are demonic. Completely. Hey guys, don't you see he's with me and you're free to go. Free! Yes, free! Free! Uh -huh. Free! 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 Yeah. Free! Yeah. Free! 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 I almost forgot this, but you've earned it. You have taken the tide and turned it. You may take this mask and wear it. A gift of gratitude from this carrot. Hooray! I finally have my mask. Two more things and I finish my task. Going down. I wonder where those trees hit. anymore. Hello? I saw you dancing. According to this clock, it's 11 o'clock. But a boom, but a boom, but a boom, but a boom, but a boom. Okay, I don't see him anymore. Hi! Hello, and welcome to The Brain Tickler! The game where you get to show how smart you really are! Actually, I just wanted to go through. I think we can arrange that, can't we, Wink? That's right, Blink. But you'll have to answer a few questions first, because, as you know, no one can pass through the doors of knowledge without first playing... The, the Brain Killer! Let's meet our first contestant. What's your name, son? Uh, it's Sam. He's Sam! All the way from, well, wherever it is he's from. His interests include skydiving, channeling ancient spirits, and stamp collecting. I don't collect stamps. You're making that up. And he'll be playing today for the right to pass through the doors of knowledge! He'll be asked questions from four categories. Once he's correctly answered one question from each of the categories, he wins! And we all know what that means, right, Wink? Step right over here, Sam, and select your first category. Our categories today are Anatomy, Ancient Egypt, Plants, and The Land of Darkness. I'll take anatomy, please. All right. Here is your question. The head bone is connected to the... Neck bone. That's correct. That's one category down and three to go. You're doing well. 
Go ahead and choose another category. Let me try Ancient Egypt. All right, here is your question. Whose face is depicted on the Sphinx? King Tut. No, I'm sorry. King Tut was an obscure Egyptian king who only ruled for 10 years. The correct answer is King Khafre. Oh! But don't worry, there are plenty of questions left, so you can try again. That's right. So go ahead and pick a category. Let me try Ancient Egypt. All right, here is your question. What did the Egyptians call their sun god? Ra! That's correct! <laughs> two down, two to go! All right! Which of the remaining two categories would you like to try next? I'll take plants, please. All right, here is your question. What is hay? It's for horses. Yes, indeed. Hay is for horses. You're really on the roll now. Are you ready for your final category? Um, uh, uh. I'll take the land of darkness. All right, here is your question. What is the reading on the water meter located in the mines near Darkness's house? 662. That's absolutely right. You've done your homework. <laughs> you correctly answered questions from all four categories. That makes you the new Brain Tickler Grand Champion! Congratulations, Sam! Gee, thanks! Dom Perignon, tell us what he's won! Blink, as the new Grand Champion, Sam has won the right to pass through the doors of knowledge anytime he chooses. Isn't that fantastic? You mean I could go through right now if I want to? That's right! Wow! Thank you for being here with us on The Brain Tickler! Until next time, this is Wink! And Blink! Saying good night! Wink and Blink's wardrobe was provided by the One Coat Paint Company. Doorknob came off. I didn't do it. I barely touched it. A visitor. <laughs> well, well, well. We don't get many visitors around here. How do you do? Pretty well, thanks. How about all of you? We're fine. Thank you for asking. I'm not. In fact, I'm downright downbeat. Oh? How come? Because I ain't got nobody. <laughs> My head feels like it's full of concrete. Nice view from up here. You be careful now. Even nicer view from up here. <laughs> hey, hey, check this out. I'd swing my arms if I had any arms. My arms rest away. I'm nodding my head because I have a head moving ahead today. This is for me. It's not by me, I'd never find such travesty. Six depraved, six is depraved, Beethoven's rolling in his grave. <laughs> Have you ever tangled with a mango or a pineapple or peach? Maybe you should mumble with a man a 
What did one clover say to the other clover? Take me to your weeder. What did one eye say to the other eye? There's something in between that smells. what you have never seen. You must push in only green. Whoa, that looks like a secret door. I don't see any way to open it. I think I saw something on the other side of the door. This book is blank. I could write my own poem if I had a pencil. The Beloved Milkman, a very short story. Once upon a time, there was a milkman who caught cold and was unable to deliver his milk. But he was so loved by his cows that they covered his route for him. The end. I think I saw something on the other side of the door. Well, here we are, burning. I feel lightheaded. You're burning up, Wax for Brains. We all are. secret mad scientist lab or something. Hey, I got another sock. I float and I think and I think and I think about walking or driving a car or riding a bike and I think and I float because I'm just a brain in a jar. 
Senor Scarlet in the basement with the plunger. Check the recipe book again. Mm, that's a good marshmallow. button does. Hey, look at that, would ya? Howdy, Sam. Hi, King. You go, this should be at least a pound. All right, you're clear. Go on across. Havarti! I'm fine, how are you? No, 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 I said Havarti! Don't you know how to play cheese and crackers? Mom told me I shouldn't play with my food. No, cheese and crackers is the name of a game, mm. see? Come on, I'll show you how to play. Hey, this is like tic-tac-toe! Tic-tac-who? No, no, this is cheese and crackers. Pay attention! First, you need to choose which you're gonna be, the cheese or the crackers. The cheese, of course. Okay, I'll be the crackers. You're trying to get three of your cheeses in a row before I get three crackers in a row. You go first. Where should I move? Go to move. Where should I move? to move. I won! Now can I eat the cheese? No. What did that word mean that you said before? Of mm. That's what you say when you want to play cheese and crackers with someone. And then if they want to play too, they say provolone back to you. Oh, I get it. Havarti. Provolone. Try to get four in a row. You go first. Now it's my turn. Now you move. 
Nice move, I didn't expect that. Darn you one, I'll beat you next time. Hi, Marty. Provolone, try to get five in a row. Can I eat the cheese when we're done playing? Sorry, kid, the cheese stays here in the park. You go first. Now it's my turn. Now you move. Hmm. Now it's my turn. Now you move. I won! Now can I eat the cheese? No. Hold it! If you're planning on coming back, I'll have to stamp your hand. Oh, okay. You wouldn't believe how many people try to cheat me. Thanks. This doorknob should fit the door. Once again, Pajama Sam saves the day with his mighty brain. My flashlight! I can't reach it from here! Now I just have to get my signature edition All Metal Pajama Man lunchbox and I'll be all set! Okay, darkness, watch out! I just don't see why it always has to be you who reads the question. I deserve to read half of the question. It's just because I have a better... Oh, shh, shh. It's the grand champion. Good evening, Mr. Grand Champion! Hi! A magnet. This is sure to come in handy.
Hello, Mr. Grand Champion! What are you gonna do with that? Magnets attract metal, you know. Oh no, I don't think they do. I had this friend and... Well, what do you know? Mm. I got my lunchbox! Yes! Watch out, darkness! Pajama Sam is ready to roll! How about not right away, okay? Grand Champion! Good evening, Mr. Grand Champion! Hi! Oh my gosh, darkness must be right behind this door! Hey, one of my socks! Closet and capture him. Wow. 
Watch out, darkness. Here comes Pajama Sam. Darkness, it is I, Pajama Sam. I've come to vanquish you. Vanquish? Is that fun? I'm going to capture you and lock you in my signature additional Metal Pajama Man lunchbox. Oh dear, that doesn't sound like fun at all. Why would you want to put me in a box? So I won't have to be scared of you anymore? You're scared? I'm the one who's going to be stuck in the box. Oh dear, no one ever wants to come over and play fun games with me. You like to play games? Yes, but I never have anyone to play with. At night, when I come out, everybody's asleep. You mean you don't have any friends? Well, no. I like to play games. Really? Do you like to play cheese and crackers? Do I? I played it with a toaster in the park. It's great. Oh, good. We, we just need some, some, some crackers and, and some tasty cheese. Look at that move, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah? What do you know? I defeated Darkness! Ooh, I didn't see that one. You win! You're good at this, Sam. Thanks. I like this game. I better go home now, though. My mom might get worried. Okay, maybe we can play some more tomorrow night. Okay. Sam, are you all right in there? Fine, Mom. Good night. Good night, dear. Good night, darkness. <sighs>